Ah, Perrigan, Perrigan, Perrigan. Oh, you little mongrel. Okay, just got back from basketing. So we put the four birds in, which will be tomorrow's race, which is a Monday. We were meant to be racing today, but you can see, this is probably the best the weather's gonna get today. It's been pretty wild, real crazy, windy weather. But like clockwork, like I said this morning, I said, I bet you um, the bin chickens and all those birds are gonna start coming back in thick numbers. And there is literally white and black dots all through my paddocks. It didn't take them long. It just took um, one big cold front to come in. Hopefully this wind isn't too bad because it's um, quite windy and all the rain. And we got bin chickens, which are ibises. In Australia, they're called bin chickens because they get into all the rubbish bins, but um, they are back. And normally the skies are full of them. And that is when we can loft fly. We've got a couple of months. We're already a bit behind. But we are going to loft fly, which is something we've not been able to do for about six months now. We're, yeah, six months of the year. So we haven't been able to fly at all, which is a bit of a pain. Actually, it's been longer than that. It was since October last year. Now, come on. So, um, whew, let's get these birds out for a fly. I'm hoping we can get them up for about an hour. Um, in this weather conditions, there's going to be some really good fitness for them. Uh, because we've got to get the fitness into them. We are so far behind everyone else because we can't loft fly. But now the bin chickens are here. I'm hoping we can actually get this a little bit more fluent and get these guys flying and try and get some fitness in them now. We don't have much choice. We've got to get them moving. Um, we've got to put in a bit more work around the loft. Hopefully the falcons don't give us too much trouble. All right, so what we'll do first get this door open there's got to be quite a few of these videos these younger ones we've got to get as much fitness into these as we can all right let's go let's go ow you just smacked me in the ear come on let's go let's go let's go Come on, everyone's out. I know I've been a bit tough on you, but we've got to get this fitness in. Come on. All right, last one. Good job. Now, we've already got one tray there ready to go in the other section. That's for my... I fed my race birds this morning, not much. I probably actually shouldn't have fed them. I was basketing everyone's birds today and I had a bit of a feel to see if they had any food in there. And they didn't. And I think I might have put too much food in there again. I'm still learning on this whole process. So what I'll do, shut this up. See where they're at. What a good sight, finally seeing some birds fly around the loft. I don't want to jinx myself though. I think my mealy hen, she's been a bit funny. Is that her there? No. What are you doing? Come on. No. So my birds, we don't loft fly it often. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna block this off. I'm gonna have to push them. Next few weeks, we're gonna push them, push them, push them. Hopefully get them on the truck before we have to jump out even further. Ah, Perrigan, Perrigan, Perrigan. Oh, you little mongrel. You probably would have seen that in the back there. I think she actually hit one. Far out. I might have to see if I can zoom in on that because she definitely hit him. Far out, I jinxed myself again. Ah. She nailed them, some chronic. I thought they hit the ground or something. Well, that was actually under one minute of the falcon hitness, and I've got some really good footage that you're going to see. They come this way, and she come at ground level. By the looks of it, she might have been touching the grass coming through you there. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad I got that on film, because that is pretty much every single day. But the birds seem to be flying, so I'm going to keep pushing them, keep a close eye on it. She might come back, but that's how sneaky she is. Out for a couple seconds, flying around the ground like that, and then... She, like I've never seen her that low before. That was unreal. Like you wouldn't, 
man, if I didn't have that camera going right then, no one would believe that. So we are definitely going to replay that in some slow-mo, zoom it in so you can see it, because that is phenomenal. They are, especially the falcons out here, they're unreal. There's a million bin chickens out there. Why don't you go eat them? Oh, man, that's uncrazy. But I'm going to keep them up as long as possible. Um, I'm not going to try and push them for an hour today. We'll just see. Unreal. This is my trusty flag. I've got this back up again, trying to stop them landing. This is a problem. This, this is always like this. You'll see the birds here. Even at ground level, that's here and doing laps around the house. This is their only chance. And they're still getting clipped. So I'm hoping one of those birds isn't injured because she did hit one. That's what made me turn around so quick. So we'll see. But I'll tell you what, it's looking definitely looking like I won't be racing next year because this is just getting too hard. This would be my third year trying to race from this position and nothing's changed. I've got falcons here. Basically in the 20 kilometers, it's just a kill zone. So we can only do what we can do. The birds are just, they just fry. They don't want to fly. So we'll just keep trying. But in saying that, I'm definitely not stopping pigeons. I'll just be doing one lofts and I will most likely just get a few colours, get my colours back maybe, we'll see, that's my option. If I stop lo racing locals, I'm gonna go back to my colour of pigeons, because I did enjoy that. This, at the moment, to be truthful, I'm not enjoying this. It's a lot of work and the birds just get absolutely slaughtered. Before I even get to the race, before I even get like outside 20 kilometres. Come on. Come on. All right, I think that's all of them. Oh, no, one more. Come on. Two more. Hey, you're not meant to come through there. And that one's starting to be a bit naughty too now. All right, so, I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll just have to wait and see. This is, it's every single day. I can't get them out without that happening. I do wanna check over them shortly and see which one's actually, which one got hit. We'll just have to have a look and see. Unfortunately, there's not many left. I think there's about 32 in there. We basketed four today. Um, and then over the next week or the week after, all these little guys are going to have to go on the truck. Because it's uh, time to get moving. Look, you're picking all the good seed out there as well. Because we're not doing a lot of loft line, I've tried and still got them on like a light mix. Still bit, there's plenty of safflower and peas and bits and pieces in there, but it is a lot of barley and wheat as well. Just trying to... Because we just can't get the fitness in. It's ridiculous. That's the biggest problem we deal with. Is not being able to get a good hour, hour and a half around the loft every time they're out. It's about five, ten minutes, if that. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. we just got to keep chipping away this season and then I'll make a decision what we're going to do because, yeah, from this position where I am, it's, it's, it's difficult. You can only see, like, what happened before is a perfect example. No matter, yeah, it just annoys me so much. So, just stay tuned. It's going to be a very interesting season the first race was an absolute disaster we'll see how tomorrow is um that's all we can do stay tuned <laughs>